When the Indian people were placed on reservations, we were delivered processed foods and that became kind of a way of life, but that wasn't our tradition. And our tradition was to eat protein and water and fruits and vegetables. When we participate in the traditions, it's excellent. You have to be physically fit to compete in the powwows. When they told me I had to take insulin, I didn't want to do it. I, I was scared. I thought, I'm never going to take, you know, needles. And I didn't realize how important it is, you know, to take your insulin on time. That's one of the things that I, I had to really learn. But now I, I feel a lot better. In the group, it really helped because we were able to express ourselves and then hear the other people, what they were going through also. The clients want that knowledge. They want more uh, information on how to self-manage themselves. There was a time when we were out there looking for the clients and now they're looking for us. Small group meetings that the program here provides seems to be the, the uh, catalyst to help people uh, bring down their overall blood sugars to a really acceptable level. So we're, we are really excited about that in the medical community. I have one doctor that I check with and he said that they can't believe how good my everything's doing. So I'm just pleased with myself and hope that they do have more classes for other people. What I have seen change is the collaboration between Indian Health Service and the tribal diabetic programs. If we have a patient who comes into the clinic and there is an issue, we are able to call the tribal diabetic programs, the CHRs, and ask them to follow up on that community member. In receiving the Merck Alliance grant, we have um, collaboration with the state, with the county, the Indian Health Service, so it has been a really, really great collaboration. In my role as a diabetes navigator, I'm trying to give people the um, biggest tools that they can have to live healthier lives. I think it helped our people because um, a lot of them never had the classes before. They were just told they were diagnosed diabetic and then basically just set out, you know, to manage themselves. The most important thing about this program that the people should know is that we are there for the people so they can ask for help. I've seen this program give people hope. There's these little things that they can do in their life to you know, help them live with their diabetes and that no, it's not you know, a death sentence and it's, it's treatable and it's livable. If you have grandkids like I do, you want to live a long time to enjoy them.